今回お披露目する電動モーターサイクルは2000年初頭から川崎の次世代パワーユニットの一つとしてスーパーチャージャーなどとともに研究を続けてきたものですもちろんパワーユニットが電動であってもアイデオロジーの信念は変わりません愛する喜びエキサイティングパッション。パッケージングや車体ジオメトリーをはじめ、変速機構、サムブレーキなどによる改正制御など、検算を重ねることで数々の特許を取得してきました。現在はそのコンセプトをさらに進化させた次世代のモーターサイクルの研究に取り組んでいます。近い将来必ず。皆さんを笑顔にするモーターサイクルをお届けします。楽しみに待っていてください。レッタグッタイムスロー。This is Kawasaki's new EV bike, so-called electronic vehicle. For a long time, a lot of the media have been asking Kawasaki, "Are you not involved in electronic technology?" So this is a chance. For Kawasaki Japan to show a concept vehicle, so this is a, a vehicle which is really just testing the technology. It's not going to go into production, but it just shows that Kawasaki is looking at electronic vehicles. Most electric bikes don't have gearboxes, so you just turn them on, twist and go, rather like a scooter. Whereas this bike has got four gears, so you've got the electric power pack, and the motor is connected to a gearbox. Firstly, it will appeal to motorcyclists because they want to still change gear. So that's a good advantage in the crossover between、uh, gasoline engines and electric engines. But also, it means that you have a good spread of gear ratios, a good spread of speed, and you can use that wonderful torque of an electric motor through four gears. Interesting thing about the testing was it wasn't just for durability and reliability; they were testing it for fun. They wanted to know whether the riders had a fun experience and were tuning the bike for fun as well as the usual durability and reliability. For Kawasaki, a very interesting departure, and it shows people that Kawasaki is looking at alternative technology.